Now today we're continuing the work on the FJ Cruiser. As you can see, we are tackling the front timing chain cover to get access to the timing chain. This vehicle does have a trouble code for P0016, which is incredibly infamous regarding these older Toyota FJs, Tacomas, 4Runners, etc. So before we jump into this, I would love your feedback. Going forward, I'm trying to figure what is best for you guys, the viewers. So the way I have been doing things for a number of years, not only on the FJ here, but the Audi S4, the Honda S2000, the Subaru, the Acura, etc. I always methodically show how to do the job at home step by step. That's really what this channel is all about. Do the work yourself, no fancy tools, no lifts. You can do everything pretty much here at home. But going forward, I'm trying to figure if that is the best way to present these videos. So do you prefer these short eight to 10 minute clips showing on how to remove everything step by step? Or would you rather see one complete video? And I have done this a few times, for example, disassembling the 240Z engine, which is something like 45 minutes long, but a lot of people like that sort of video. So I'm trying to figure out, would you like to see these short clips? Or would you just rather see from start to finish one massive video, and then you can just have a cup of coffee and just watch on how, how everything is essentially disassembled. So as always, thank you. I would love that feedback and let's jump right into it. In the last episode, we essentially removed the valve covers, thermostat housing, get everything cleaned up. And now we're going to tackle the power steering pump here. These are 14 mil, very tight. There we go. It's a very tight fit. Now we're going to tackle the water pump. There's so much grease and grime on this. There we go. And of course, this will be replaced with a new one. And it's nice to see all metal construction and you can't mess up the fasteners. So you can't mix and match the tens and the 12 millimeter fasteners. Okay, time to tackle the alternator here. Spraying down. Some penetrating oil first. Now over time, as I'm working on this truck, leaning over, it's starting to strain my lower back a little bit. So I'm using a breaker bar just to break these fasteners loose. These can be pretty tight anyway, but it just makes the job a little bit easier if you're not using impact tools. Now we're almost ready to remove the entire timing cover, but there's a bracket for the AC compressor and there are many, many fasteners, very hard to get on film. And something I showed in the last episode, I pulled up the part on eBay Motors. It's obviously a used part, but now I know precisely where every fastener lives. It makes the job a lot easier. So five in all, if you're doing this at home, five fasteners, all 14 mil. Okay, so we're almost ready to remove this cover. There are a number of fasteners around the perimeter, but also four in the bottom. So if you are doing this on your truck, you have four fasteners on the bottom where the oil pan meets this cover. And you can easily get to it from up top. Just feel for it and crank them loose. Get yourself one of these long wrenches with the ratcheted end. Makes the job a lot easier. Okay. One thing that's kind of cool, I just realized, I removed both camshaft position sensors. So bank one is passenger side, bank two is the driver side. Now this is bank one, okay, it lives right here. And trouble code P0016 is what we're tackling. It tells us that we have an issue with the timing chain and I've read on many forums, it may just be a cam sensor. And the dealer of whom I purchased the vehicle from tried this route. It's a brand new Denso, which is nice to see, Denso camshaft position sensor. You can even see that they replaced the uh, fastener here with a brand new one. 
but this did not do the trick. Again, if you have this trouble code, it's a mechanical issue, unfortunately, and you just have an issue with the timing chain. So we have the number one cylinder at top dead center compression stroke. I did a separate video if you need to see on how to do that. The bottom oil pan fasteners, just four are removed, and now we can start cranking loose the perimeter. Now, as the fasteners are removed, you can see some gasket maker from the factory. So what I'm doing is simply cleaning off the surface area with a wire brush. And that way, when it's time to reinstall the fasteners, everything will be nice and clean. So that wraps it up for today. At this point, I just need to clean everything up. I should have the parts here within a few days, remove the old chain, install all brand new parts, and hopefully get this thing up and running rather quickly. And if you can please leave that feedback on what you prefer to see going forward, I can just really focus on what the majority of you are looking for and just make better content. And as always, thank you for watching.